Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Johnny the Coast, and in today's free search engine optimization training, I'm going to be talking about Google SERP Simulator, which can allow you to see a preview of how your blog post or URL or whatever this is your publishing on your website, it's going to give you a preview and basically show you what it's going to look like when it shows up in the search engines. And the reason why this is helpful is because as you're creating your content, you're optimizing, this can help you to improve the click through rate. This can also show you and give you an idea of what mobile users see when they see your listing in the search engines and you have the ability to influence that not only influence it but you can change it so this is the site that i'm referring to here i actually spoke about this in my last video it was a bit of a bonus but it's a recommendation from my friends james Scholes. i found out from him i don't think he's active anymore because when i went to his website all of his videos are private but i still want to you know use him as a resource and inspiration because i I came up under him in internet marketing and one of his biggest recommendations was stuff like this his latest in his latest post about seo he specifically referred to this one so for an example when you put in your website and i actually have one right here that we're just going to be using as reference i'm still running tests on these websites like i'm still just working on behind the scenes so i'm not these samurai sites as well as my other health and fitness sites not entirely live right now but I mean, it is if you go there, you'll see all of these blog posts, but I'm not using them to market at the very moment. I'm still doing some behind the scenes stuff, but I got some stuff that we can use. And so, for example, like this one right here, fitness for gamers, what I would do is I would take this title. I go ahead and put it in here, the page title, and then I can get this URL, put that URL in here. And as you can see, it's already starting to simulate what it would look like in, in the SERPs, the search engine results page. You can also see what that looks like for people on desktop. And as you can see, when you switch it to mobile, Google does truncate it a bit or truncate, however you pronounce that word. So this is what it'll look like on desktop. So what we can do to get a meta description, I've used Gemini as well as chat GPT. I basically just take either the page title or you can actually go to the blog post itself. I'll just go ahead and copy everything here and I'll tell chat GPT, I mean, or Gemini, to give me a 157 character meta description. And that way, because anything over that, Google's just gonna truncate it. So let's go ahead and just post it in here. What I'll do in my prompt, I'll say, I need a meta description of no more than 157 characters for this post here. And then I'll put it in here like so. And this will just show you what it looks like. That way you're able to, you know, you can adjust, you can make some changes and you can influence the search engines by knowing exactly how it's going to appear. Now, there are plugins when you go to your WordPress website. There is stuff like, for example, I have optimized press. So at the very bottom, we also have this option, but you can put the meta description right here. So as you can see here on my main page, they actually have the SEO snippet tool right here at the bottom. So you can change the URL slug right here. They give you the meta description and they also give you a preview of how it's going to look not only on the mobile, but as with this Google SERP simulator snippet, you can also change it to see how it looks on the desktop. Now there's like a million different plugins. So I encourage you to check out the alternatives, but this one is actually pretty good. And you can even adjust what comes up on the social as well. So this put a social description right there as well as a social title, and you can adjust what image pops up. So no matter what you have in your featured image over here, you can actually change if you want what image pops up on social platforms as well. And they give you an analysis. So if you do upgrade to their premium, they let you know actually what like the readability score is right here. So now I do use prompts myself. What I do is I give Gemini basically an SEO. I say, hey, give me an SEO optimized article, 300 words with H1 and H2 headers for this and talk in first person. And then also, so I'll do that when I create a video, I'll basically make a video and then I'll tell Gemini, well, I have a plugin that basically can summarize the video. I'll change in that plugin, to basically say, I'll put my prompt in there. But what you can do is, you know, based off of what you get back, you can also make changes to that prompt based off of what you see here. So the paragraph length right here, one of the paragraphs contains more than the recommended maximum 150 words. So you can actually put that in a prompt. I need an SEO optimized article, 300 words, and make sure one of the paragraphs doesn't contain more than the recommended maximum of 150 words. So, and then transition words 
and then it tells you what you need improvements on and like the main problems right here. So only 17.2% of the sentences contain transition words, which is not enough. You can actually put that in the prompt. Make sure that you have enough sentences containing transition words. So based off of what you get right here, you can adjust your prompt so you don't have to keep going back in. And also this helps because you're able to see what it looks like and how it appears in the search engine. You can change the clickability you can change the click through rates from here. Now that's what copywriting is all about. Trying to get the interest of someone when you're trying to capture someone's attention, you know, get their interest, create desire and compel them to take action. Essentially copywriting is just selling on paper. And that's the main focus is basically capturing someone's attention, creating desire and compelling them to take action from the title to the sub headline to the paragraphs. So be sure to take a look at this copywriting tutorials playlist. It'll help you improve your click through rate in that regard. Also, another thing that you want to do is when when you're on the Google SERP simulator, this right here, as far as like the maximum level, I was saying earlier that you can use Gemini as well as ChatGPT. But when it comes to the mobile, they actually truncate some of that, as you can see. So it stops right here, the physical. So if you want to, if you want people to see the whole thing, try to make it a lot shorter for the mobile as well. But this is what it looks like. This is a very helpful tool in that regard. And you can change the title so long as you know how it comes up in here. And then this also allows you to see what comes up as far as like the URL is concerned. And you have that choice over here. Hold on. Right over on Yoast SEO. I also have an SEO strategies playlist for more information in this regard. I have a lot of videos. I've done research on search engine optimization as far as like on-page optimization and off-page optimization. As you can see on page, how to spy on competitors to create high converting titles and description. This is very useful right here for what we're talking about in this video. So definitely check this out. I have all this in the description as well. And be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below. I have everything that I included in this training as well as the pinned comment by the Affiliate Marketing Samurai. And also I have a free SEO checklist right in the description that you can use to help accompany you as you're going about your search engine optimization strategy. So if for any reason that you need to make sure that you're covering all bases and you just want to have something right there with you every time you create a blog post, you know, you're just going down the list, make sure you're checking off, check, 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 then definitely take a look at that because it'll be very useful for you and it's absolutely free. All you got to do is you put your name and your email address in. It'll get sent right to your inbox. So that's pretty much it for the video. Just pretty brief overview of how the Google SERP simulator snippet preview works as well as the other one that they have here right in the description. And this is going to be enormous help for you, especially if you're trying to make sure that you're covering all bases. And, and in my case, also, when it comes to categories, I'll make sure that I pick the right category that's related to what it is I'm talking about. So this is talking about traffic generation. So I would basically, you know, pick traffic generation that also improves the rankings in the search engine as well. I just want to make sure everything is related and relevant. All right. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like content like this, then I definitely recommend that you subscribe to the channel. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. I also talk about copywriting tutorials, as you know, artificial intelligence, and automation, sales and closing, objection handling. I talk about email marketing, traffic generation strategies. I have an entire playlist on how to create a sales funnel with the checkout page affiliate marketing strategies so definitely subscribe if you like content like this and with that said i will see you in the next video see you then